Hey y'all, we are back with a verse of the day. And sorry I haven't uploaded in a couple of days. If you guys look at my community tab, I think I told you guys that we didn't have any power or any Wi-Fi, so I wasn't able to record or edit or anything. But we are back. So today we are starting from the book of I'm not even about to mispronounce that, but y'all see the title right here. And <laughs> we are in chapter three. And we are going to be reading from verses 2 until 17. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. A time to embrace, a time to refrain from embracing. A time to search, a time to give up. A time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear, and a time to mend, a time to be silent, a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. What do workers gain from their toil? I have seen the burden God has laid on the human race. He has made everything beautiful in his time. He has also set eternity in a human heart, yet no one can fathom what God has done from beginning to end. I know that there is nothing better for people than to be happy and to do good while they live that each of them may eat and drink and find satisfaction in all their toil. This is a gift of God. I know that everything God does will endure forever. Nothing can be added to it and nothing taken from it. God does it so that people will fear him. Whatever it has already been, whatever it is has already been, and what will has, and what will be has been before. What? And God will call... And God will call the past to account. And I saw something else under the sun. In the place of judgment, wickedness was there. In the place of justice, wickedness was there. So I meant um, from verse 16 instead of 17. The second book is from the book of Micah. And we are in chapter 7, verses 5 through 7. Do not trust a neighbor, put no confidence in a friend. Even with the woman who lies in your embrace, guard the words of your lips. For a son dishonors his father, a daughter rises up against her mother, a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, a man's enemies are the members of his own household. But as for me, I watch and hope for the Lord. I wait for God my Savior, my God will hear me. And the next is and the next verse is coming from the book of Revelations. Chapter 1, verses 7 through 8. Look, he is coming with the clouds, and every eye will see him. Even those who pierced him and all peoples on the earth will mourn because of him. So shall it be. Amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is and who was and who was to come, the Almighty.